too many times. Far too many times. For sure, if Adam Christensen... I don't think it gets any easier. The loss of one of his own at the Stanislaus County Sheriff's Office is something he has tragically become all too familiar with. This is uh, our sixth line of duty death in six years. I've lost four deputy sheriffs and two community service officers to line of duty tragedies. Six funerals to plan, six lives lost, and six unimaginable calls home to families all within six years. Deputy Henestroza's family, the latest. Those are never easy conversations. It's sometimes you, you're at a loss. You don't, you don't really know what to say. What do you tell someone? It's, it's, uh, it's very, very difficult. Very hard. These tragedies started happening for Stanislaus County back in 2011 with the death of crime scene investigator Mary Donahue. The sheriff lost another community service officer and now a total of four deputies since he's been sheriff. Before this heartbreaking trend started, the last line of duty death was in the 70s. They're senseless deaths. Some of them are truly accidental. Uh, some of them are intentional. Uh, and you really can't quite embrace or describe or try to understand a senseless act of violence. Even one death was one too many for this sheriff. And that was probably one of my biggest fears as the sheriff, as the State Sheriff's Association, the California State Sheriff's Association president. I went to every funeral. And I sat there thinking I never want to be the guy on the stage. I don't want to be up there. And yet it happened. As he's in the middle of planning his sixth and what he hopes to be final funeral, we asked how his department is working to move forward after yet another tragic loss. My message typically is we still have to carry on. You have to pick yourself up and dust yourself off and get back in the fight. Because while all of this is going on, what we do doesn't come to a stop. We're still getting calls for service. We're still getting 911 calls for help. In Stanislaus County, Lena Howland, ABC 10 News.